The Me Too movement has created worldwide awareness of the way in which women are disrespected, abused and violated. But there are also many courageous rape survivors who have been helping women to heal their wounds. One of these unsung heroes is Nazreen Ali, who has made it her goal to empower herself and to pursue her own dreams, which she shared with Karusha. Recent statistics show that over 50,000 cases of rape are reported in South Africa each year but the actual figure is most probably much higher, with many women never laying a formal complaint. One of these uncounted survivors is Nazreen Ali, who experienced her ordeal when she was just 13, and who was then terrorized into hiding the truth from the world for many years. Since then, she's broken her silence, and by overcoming her fear, she has taken control of her life while making it her mission to inspire others to do the same. We are at Virginia Airport today and I'm so excited to be meeting Nazreen Ali, who is a student pilot and sports conditioning coach. I think she's just landed, so I'm going to go chat to her. Nazreen approaches challenges with confidence and commitment, which you can see in her flying and her stride. Hi Nazreen! Hi Such Karusha. a pleasure to meet you! Pleasure to meet you too. When did you start flying? I started flying six months ago. My passion came from being a little child, looking up at the planes, wondering what does it feel like being in the air and maneuvering this huge piece of metal? So a few months ago, I inquired about it and here I am. And enjoying my passion right now, it's never too late. But Nazreen, I know that's not all that you do. I think the hint is in your gorgeous body. I'm a personal trainer and a sports conditioning coach and an athlete. I'm heading back to the gym right now and we can have a session. I'm a little bit intimidated, <laughs> but excited. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Nazri left Durban for a while, but having returned, she threw herself into bodybuilding and empowering women. Karusha, welcome to my gym. It's always been my passion and goal to achieve this dream of having my very own gym. I have all the equipment and the skills and knowledge behind it to help my clients achieve their goals. As I know, women empowerment was a big reason why you went into fitness training. Having been an athlete at the age of 13, I was two weeks away from an Natal Green Colors and I had encountered a traumatic experience, which was life-changing. It derailed me from everything that I wanted to do, my hopes, my dreams, my aspirations as an athlete. Using fitness, I managed to overcome the depression. I then later realized that I wanted to take it a, a step further to help other women out there, help them understand that they can tap into their own strengths as well by using fitness. Talking about women and fitness, I've got a class on right now. Would you like to join? Let's go. Hi ladies, this is Karusha. Hello. Before we start, we always stretch out. Feet forward, shoulders apart, lean forward. Grab onto your ankles, tuck your chin into your chest. Three, two, and one. We're gonna straighten up, hands up, and stretch. Let's grab our dumbbells. We're gonna go one, slowly drop, slowly hold the resistance, and two. Three, all right, and drop the weight to the side. And we're gonna take it up, hold one second, and slow it down. All right, great one, ladies. You all did amazing. Yes, that was so great. Thank you so much. I love it. I love doing what I do. I wake up for it. Breathe it, eat it, everything, I love it. Naz, I know that you also, within the fitness program, do a self-defense class for women. I think every woman should be empowered in that aspect. With us today, I have Tyrell, our self-defense instructor. Hi, Tyrell. Hi, nice to meet you. Karusha. Karusha. Tyrell's going to be showing us how to defend ourselves as women in a situation. Okay, Karusha, if a guy tries to grab you like this, the weakest point is your neck. So you push him out the chin and you chop him out the throat. The second one, so if a guy tries to hold you by your neck, there we go, hand, there, thumb to thumb, both hands, over, down. This is so great! This is such good advice. I think everyone needs that. Thank you so much, no Tyrell. Nez, what is your advice to somebody at home that is wanting to be in the fitness industry? I believe that nothing's impossible. You need to make it happen. You need to go out there and not allow for any setbacks to hold you back or weigh you down. You need to make things happen because nobody's going to do it for you. That is such great advice. Thank you so much, Nazreen. It was such a pleasure. Thank you, Karusha. It was a pleasure. Nazarene's message is all the more powerful because it's based on a personal experience. 